Hello, my name is Rahul Sinha. I was a Pawsey summer intern from 2023 to 2024, and I'm currently studying advanced computer science at Curtin University. During my summer internship, I worked on a project involving guiding a drone swarm using reinforcement learning to traverse a map as efficiently as possible. My project mainly focuses on bushfire control. Bushfires are unplanned wildfires that occur in areas with high foliage density and are common in Australia. Bushfire-prone areas tend to have hot weather, which can cause vegetation to dry up and become more flammable. They can quickly spread over large areas and grow out of control, especially in windy conditions. Monitoring large areas is a key part of bushfire control, as the information provided is essential to anticipating or assessing threats and taking proper action. For example, surveilling an area pre-fire can help detect ignition points or smaller fires earlier, when they are easier to contain, or predict fire risk depending on vegetation buildup. Monitoring an area where a bushfire has already developed can help mitigation officers allocate their resources effectively, assess damage, and locate people who need assistance. Such tasks can be accomplished by using an autonomous drone swarm, in which multiple drones work together to accomplish a task. Drones can provide efficient monitoring capabilities due to their ability to work in parallel without human intervention. Aerial drones are particularly useful, as they can easily navigate difficult terrain, such as a forest floor. However, to ensure swarm effectiveness, the drones must learn to coordinate with each other. To this end, the drones can be controlled using reinforcement learning, a machine learning methodology with three components, an agent, an environment, and a reward. The agent is a learning algorithm that can observe its environment, store this information within its state, and act accordingly. The environment provides feedback to the agent using a reward function, which is either positive or negative, depending on the agent's performance. This process repeats with the agent constantly taking action and trying to maximize its reward. For this project, we used DeepQ Networks, or DeepQ Learning. This popular reinforcement learning method takes the environment state as an input and uses a neural network to output the Q values, or expected future reward, for each possible action. We aimed to create a custom drone simulation and implement a basic DQN training system. We aimed to train the swarm to traverse a map as quickly as possible so that every tile was explored. The drones would have to learn to coordinate with each other and share their traversal duties to maximize efficiency. In this project, the environment was the square map whose size the user could set. Our simulation used a centralized topology for the agent, a central controller that could control the drones, direct them where to go, share their observations, and remember where they had traveled. Each game ended either when the drones had successfully explored the whole map or after 2,000 game steps. After each game, a score was calculated to measure the agent's performance. The agent received various rewards, including a large bonus if it surpassed its previous score. This incentivized the swarm to find more efficient ways to divide labor and traverse the map. This internship was an invaluable experience in which I explored and learned about fascinating topics, while also applying myself to a real-world project. I greatly improved my knowledge of reinforcement learning in theory and practice. I learned about agents, environments, rewards, and states. My research skills were developed by finding sources, conducting literature reviews on other research papers, and critically evaluating the information. I also had the chance to enhance my visual presentation skills when I created the showcase poster, which required me to condense my work and research into an easy-to-understand visual format. I would like to thank my supervisors and Pawsey staff for their support and mentoring. There are various ways to expand upon the work I have started this summer and I am excited to see how this project can be improved. As I embark on the next steps of my learning journey, I am confident that the skills I have learned here will be useful for future endeavours.